Another out of print tome, which is a really handy book, published in 1972. Now it fetches mm, kind of middle of the road type prices. This is by J.R.S. Whiting, Commemorative Medals, A Medallic History of Britain from Tudor Times to the Present Day. So it's about commemorative medals. There's very little on World War I and World War II. It has the Battle of London medal in it, but it also has the uh, the World War I Lusitania medal, the World War I U-Boat attack medal, and the World War I attack on London Zeppelin medal as well, which is, it's, it's nice for that. Um, but obviously the most common one you find nowadays is the Lusitania one. Well, this one has the three different goats, as you buy goats, that buy him, that manufacturer. So it is a really good book, but it's mainly civilian commemorative items for achievements, buildings, things like that. So we'll take a look through it. Now, long since out of print, you'll pay maybe 10 to 15 pound, but things like this tend to be well covered by the coin and, coin and token collector, rather than the military collector. It's not, it's not of use to a military person. If you're into coins and tokens, then yeah, but military wise, no, because there's only a few pages of military related stuff in it. But we'll have a look through it anyway. And this particular one, like the basis of most of my collection, started out life as a library book. They declared it surplus, and I bought it for about 10 pence many years ago, Whitehaven Public Library. So it has. The Tudors, the Stuarts, the later Stuarts, the Hanover, Hanoverians, 19th century and the 20th century, and notes for collecting. So we'll, we'll have a look at the illustrations anyway, if we can get to them. Bear with me a second. So the illustrations are very sparse. They're numbered, and the numbers correspond with what it says at the bottom there. It's more, it's more text than actual pictures. It's, it's sparsely illustrated, but it still may warrant a place in your, your coin, token, commemorative collection. You go through the latest Stuarts. have theatre tokens so as you see there's, there's not much in the way of illustrations in it you go through the 19th century the royal family transport then we hit the 20th century with the royal occasions and these are the uh, the world war one ones that's the lusitania one you see that's the little known German submarine 1915 attack one. And that's the even lesser known German air attack on London 1915 medallion. So you see those about, but you very rarely see those ones. And that's really that one and into the 20th century. There's a section on World War II, but really... The only World War II ones you get is, is that one, the front and back of the Battle of London medal, 1940 to 45, which I've actually had one of them. It's, it's quite a big medal, quite a nice piece of kit. But that's the only World War II thing that's in it. So I don't expect it to be a book on military-related items because it isn't. Francis Chichester and Gypsy Moth, 1967, and there's notes for collecting medals. So. Really, only have appealed to the to the civilian token commemorative medal collector rather than the military person. That's commemorative medals, a medallic history of Britain from Tudor times to the present day, by Whiting. Now long since out of print. 